This long ranger video guide will take you through the steps to fit a TR58W long ranger fuel tank to a 2007 model 76 series diesel land cruiser wagon. In just 13 minutes we will go from this to this. We will get the job started by raising the vehicle on a hoist to a suitable level and removing the plastic in a guard to gain access to the fill and neck area. In here we will disconnect the rubber hoses from the steel fill and neck. Underneath the vehicle now we will disconnect the pickup and return lines. Be careful of the fuel which will come out from the hoses. Remove the check valve from the rubber grommet in the floor rib. At the back, disconnect the electrical harness. Now we can support the tank and remove all the mounting straps and associated brackets from the vehicle. The next step involves cutting metal, so mop up any fuel residue lying around, remove the original tank from the area and seal off any fuel hoses to avoid any sparks igniting the fuel. Cut all four top support mounts from the floor ribs. In this guide we are using both an angle grinder and an air hacksaw. The air hacksaw would be the best choice as it results in a lot less sparks during the cutting process as demonstrated in this video. When finished, deburr and flatten. Apply touch up paint or rust proofing. On the front cross member, bend up and forward this bracket for clearance from the pickup and return lines later on. Support the axle housing and invert the shackle hangers to allow future servicing without removing the long range of fuel tank. Clean around the sender unit, pickup unit and remove both from the original tank. Inspect any components and replace if it's found defective. Now we will modify the sender unit by straightening both the two bends on the float arm and the low level indicator. This is best done by holding the wire at the bend with a pair of pliers and straightening. This first bend needs to be a few degrees off straight. When straightening the low level indicator, ensure the signal wire is not damaged. Hold as if mounted in tank and ensure the float when hanging down hits the empty stop. Next, we reshape the pickup unit so the mounting flange is square to the main pipe. Ensure to take care that these two bends do not kink during the process. Start by removing the strainer, straighten this middle bend. Up to the bend. Straighten that around. Next, hold firmly in a vise and twist pipes around a little.
Now bend here a bit more to have mounting flange square to the vise. Now straighten out a little this last bend to ensure pickup is aiming towards the bottom of the tank. Lastly, straighten out this bend a little to ensure they clear the fuel tank when installed. As a guide, before fitting to tank you could make a line at 355mm from the edge on a piece of cardboard and see if you are close. Finally, trial fit the unit into the tank. If you have got it right, you should be able to tilt the unit at the front and feel it touch the bottom. Also, inspect the strainer is only a few millimetres from the bottom through the sender unit hole. Mount using the original gasket and screws. One last check on the pipes can be made by placing a piece of pipe on the front bracket between the mounting holes and check for clearance on both the tank and the pipes. Now fit the sender unit into the long ranger tank and ensure the float length is not too long and bottoms out on the tank. This can also be inspected through the filler hole. Mount using the original gasket and screws. Make sure the saddle for the wire is mounted close to the rear left corner of the tank for maximum cable length when we need to plug it in later on. Fit the system breather check valve to the small pipe at the top of the tank. Trimming hose to a length of 140 millimetres. Unclip the electrical harness from both the rear corners and bend it back by about 5 millimetres. This allows for more clearance on the fuel tank. Check this clearance when lifting tank into position. Reclip the harness back into position when finished. 